how to use the exempt head unit in the Benamar Tesoro range. The unit will automatically come on when the ignition is turned on. It can also be turned on and off on this button here by holding it in. If you just press it, it will mute and rotation is volume control. If we start with the satellite navigation, to input a route, just press this button here, hit new route, it will always remember your previous journeys just here. If you want to input a new one, just hit address and then change country if needed. Enter town or postcode and street name. If you're going to somewhere you've already been, just press and then select destination. It will then bring up the route. There is, it's also shown there are no traffic warnings and the route's now programmed in. If I want to add a waypoint you can do so. You can do detours and alternative routes. You can have a route summary or delete the route. <clears throat> We can set a multi-point route, so a series of destinations all in one go. We can check on traffic. Because this is a camping sat nav, we can locate all the campsites within the local area or search wide and far on the search bar above. In the useful information, you can find out exactly where you are, help nearby, so um, petrol stations, garages, etc. Country information, trip monitor, sunrise, sunset, and just your GPS information just there. In the settings menu, you can change your route preferences, so whether or not you avoid toll roads, motorways, etc. You can change your sound, so how loud the alerts are, the voice that tells you where you're going, etc. The key beeps. With warnings, you can have it so it lets you know if you are speeding. Navigation view, whether or not you've at, uh, your uh, map is in 2D, 3D. Just your regional time zones, etc. Again, traffic, you can change how the information is given to you. Your trip monitor. And your start configuration wizard. This can be redone at any point. It's already been inputted when the map card was inserted into the side just here but within that you can change the size of the vehicle. At the moment this is set to a motorhome at three and a half tonne but you can change it to a motorhome weighing up to seven and a half tonne or even make it so it believes you're a lorry. That is, is basic, the basic functions of your sat-nav. If we now go home again, we then have radio, so an FM radio. Search radio stations, just like so. And then to preset them, just hold on the screen. 
DAB. At the moment it's displaying the info, so it's just letting you know who you're listening to. You can bring up the list, so it will list all of the DAB radio stations it can find. And same again, you can have a preset list. From this menu you can also change to the FM as well, and your settings are all just here. Bluetooth is for your mobile phone. As long as your Bluetooth is on, on your phone, it will automatically find it. My Bluetooth is on, on my phone at the moment, so in a second, it should hopefully locate it. There it is. All we now do is press pair. And it will pair up the device. It's now sent me a pairing request, which I will accept, and we are now connected. If we now come back out of this, we can then arrow across again. We have USB connectivity, which is located next to the 12 volt supply, just down here at the bottom. We can connect iPods as well, so Apple. We can connect Android devices as well. The camera button is non-operational in this model because we have a rear view camera attached to the rear view mirror. HDMI is also not used, the same as AV in isn't as well. In the setup menu, we can change the language, we can sync or unsync the time, day of the week, etc. to the DAB radio. We can also change some of the buttons along here. So the Alt at the moment would actually take us to the reverse camera if it was operational um, on a short press and a long press will take us to the Bluetooth. These can all be changed to whatever you prefer. Um, also in here we can change the audio, so we can change our treble or bass, um, the graphic equaliser, etc, etc. We can change the brightness of the screen on the TFT button, again just ignore the camera. And then in others we can reset the whole thing back to factory and it will also let you know what software it's running. I hope this video has been of some help.